Hello and welcome to the second uh, update video on my Ancient Egyptian TCG collection. Uh, I hope you have seen the previous videos. Uh, now I will show you like what I recently purchased or like some of these cards I pulled from my boxes. Uh, but many people just don't watch every uh, unboxing I, I record. So I just want to show all of them again. So first we have uh, a super rare of Osiris, Lord of the, the Underworld. Very nice textured artwork. I, I already had this card, but I don't think I had it like this in textured. At least I, I did pull it again. And then we have the three cards that came new to uh, Zillions of Enemy X. And yeah, I, I did start my Ancient Egyptian collection basically because of uh, these Breyer Beast characters, because I do like the, the artwork, the art style, and the, yeah, waifus. <laughs> Let's say it like it is. I, I do like the waifufication of Ancient Egypt. So we have here a, a lot of nice cards. Like this is uh, a Sebek, uh, which is the, the Ancient Egyptian crocodile deity. But I don't think there are like any... Yeah, any crocodile. No, that she's like holding an unk in her hand, which is barely visible, but nothing about a, a crocodile. This is a new version of Anubis. Uh, what's a little bit like critical about her is like Anubis is the god of mummification. And I don't remember seeing any artworks where Anubis has like this sun disk. Usually you see the sun disk, uh, especially with Ra. Or I think sometimes with Artem. I, I don't remember seeing Anubis with the sun disk. It doesn't make such sense. But yeah, she or like Hathor. Hathor is also often depicted. Hathor or Isis with the sun disk. But I don't remember seeing Anubis. Uh, and this is just a random character with like ancient Egyptian design themed. And yeah, I don't think this is... Uh, special deity from the the ears you could think like a feline like a like Sekhmet or busted and then we've got a staff from to no not to who project it's uh, dmm games and yeah the the jackal head looks also like uh like anubis and there's this uh the symbol at, at the end of the the staff this is another super rare from Force of Will, the pyramids in the background. Very cool. Uh, Sundora's Invasion is also a Force of Will card. We have these uh, characters with a pharaoh headwear. And yeah, her character design is also like highly, highly inspired by Ancient Egypt. I do have like some World of Warcraft cards. I don't think I have them in order now that I think of it. Ah, uh, yeah, there is this uh, this region in World of Warcraft and uh, the tribe of the Neferset. Also, like looking like a jackal, like an Anubis head. And yeah, we see like an obelisk here, and of course, it's all setting in a in a desert environment. So yeah, more obelisks, and there are also like some hieroglyphs in the in the obelisk. Sarcophagos, of course, I needed this with the ram head, and also hieroglyphs on the sarcophagos. Really, really, I I do like it a lot. Scarabs, yeah, scarabs were super important in ancient Egypt. Uh, they were rolling like the the sun. They're also like a symbol for uh, eternal life. Yeah, and also like a, a structure, like a pyramid in the background or a temple. Another Nefaset with a scorpion. A construct of the sun. This is uh, reminds me so much of, there is a, a version of Ra with Horus together. It's like uh, Ra, Hor, Hor, I don't know how to spell it in English actually, but uh, they put like Ra, the sun god, 
and Horus together. So a falcon with a sun disk around the head, and this looks so much like uh, like Raho Horus together. Very cool. Uh, oh, I have this a second time. I think I pulled it. I think I pulled it a second time, and I already had it in my collection. Oh yeah, this is some of my favorite from today. This is from V Cross, and V Cross is just making amazing cards uh, with texture and. And if you see the, the texture on this card, it looks so great. This is one of my favorite new cards in my collection altogether. Uh, I actually cool. Uh, I don't think the, the name is Sobek. Sebek. But yeah, she has like this very uh, crocodile themed uh, design. So she reminds me mostly of like Sobek. There's also Amit, but Amit is uh, Amit is the deity that eats your heart if you were an evil person. I don't know, it doesn't look like Amit. Uh, Obelisk, another V-Cross card with these. Uh, it's a little bit too much. Like this was from a, from a deck and it has like this firework. Boiling, and you can barely see the character, but yeah, obelisk code anti, and there's also like some hieroglyphs on the leg. Oh, another one. But this is Sebek. Sebe, cool. This is Sebek, yeah. Again, uh, crocodile artwork. This is the the parallel falling of Vicross. And yeah, very, very beautiful card design. As I said, no texture this time. Oh, this was... Oh, what was the name? Karabe. I don't remember. But yeah, we see in the background the, the scarab with the wings. And this was very often like a jewelry uh, that they put on. Uh, on the mummies, or like in the bandages under the, the mummification or protection, and yeah. It was everywhere, especially like in jewelry. So scarab, rings, and uh, you can see like there's the, the red sun disk, basically. Another very beautiful art with, yeah, the shatter foiling. I don't like the shatter foiling. <laughs> Would have liked it more in a different foiling. Oh, this one, I I think I just ordered it together with the other V-Cross cards. Uh, she gives me a little bit of Ancient Egypt vibes, but I think she isn't. I don't think she actually is. There are no Ankh symbols or hieroglyphs or... Yeah. I think this was... Uh, yeah, just that I ordered it together with the rest. Yeah, this is another... Uh, V cross older V cross card, and we see the pyramids in the background. Also, like the the dress she's wearing, like the whole character uh, looks like uh, the the structure from a from a pyramid. Even like her ears are looking like uh, like pyramids. And this is the second one. Very cute. But her dress is like falling apart. So these bricks are basically floating. Uh, this was... Man. Uh, Nef was this Neftis? I think this was Neftis, the, the sister of, of Osiris and Isis. And the sister and wife of Set. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is another beautiful card. She also has the, uh, a kind of sun disc, but it's laying flat on her head. Usually it's not flat in ancient Egypt art, but it still looks very, very cute uh, and cool. Cute and cool. And yeah, she also has a... There's a... Oh, it's hard to see. It's a bit dark. There's a jackal Anubis dog looking head. 
and the coloration and the detail is also highly Egyptian looking. Okay, this is just the foil version I did pick up of the previous card. Oh, Hecate. Yeah, this card, it's not so visible that this belongs to ancient Egypt. So there are like no, no Ankh symbols, no Horus eye, nothing. But when you look at the, the head, and of course the name, if you know the name, you know it's from ancient Egypt. But her head looks like from a frog, like these look like frog eyes. And yeah, Hecate is a goddess that uh, has like the head of a frog. And I should have put it in a, uh, in a tab open. Hecate, yeah, it's even like the same writing also. Sometimes uh, with K, but yeah, fertility identified with Hathor in the form of a frog. Very, very cool. Uh, this is another Anubis, like Anubisu. So yeah, looks more like a feline again, more like a busted again with the ears. It's a, a little bit less would say less inspired, more more freely inspired by ancient Egypt. Uh, another Anubis Su from DMM games. Uh, yeah. Again, like this, the jewelry around her head, or, or like always when they, when they are using uh, these stripes, it's often. Uh, inspired by ancient Egypt. Again, in her, in her hair, like they, they do this so often. Uh, this is Isis. Isis, this was Isis. E, Su, Su, yeah, Isis. Uh, more DMM games and yeah, this, like the end of the staff looks like the, the headwear of a, of a pharaoh also. And there's, oh, what's that, like a something else? No, I thought there was like maybe an Ankh symbol somewhere, but no Ankh symbol. Uh, yeah. I'm still trying to pull the secret rare of Anubis in, in Force of Will from this pack, but so far I only got this uh, super rare. But it looks amazing i mean like she has this uh was is it the same english name like stela i have to look it up sorry i'm not so prepared with these videos uh steely or stela steely yeah with the uh, hieroglyphs and there's also you can see like uh, probably pharaohs and gods on top which makes not that much sense, I guess. When I remember it correctly, usually the the depictions are under the hieroglyphs. Like the hieroglyphs are above the drawings. I think in most in most uh, artworks I've seen. But yeah, beautiful artwork. Not the not the Anubis I want, but or like I I want to pull. But yeah, so back again. Sobek or Sebek, uh, the the crocodile deity with a, a crown with a sun disk and some kind of like the the feathers. Man, the the crown for for the next volume or update video, I will try to look up the different names of the crones. They have different names. I just can't remember stuff. And yeah, it's holding like an some kind of Ankh symbol or not. And yeah, at the at the back it's like the sun bark of Ra probably. Oh another, yeah, I pulled her multiple times in foil and non-foil. It's a little bit better to see the stele in non-foil. Met yet? Yeah, I had this card in my collection for quite some time. And at some point I was like, this gives me 
This gives me Ancient Egypt vibes. Maybe I should look it up and yeah. Turns out Metyet is a, a deity that uh, appears like in the Book of the Dead. It's very mysterious, like not a lot is known about this, but yeah. It also belongs to Ancient Egypt. Uh, a regular version of Hecate. Ancient Thingsmon from the Digimon TCG. And there's also Anubismon. Yeah, Anubis is, feels like Anubis is the most, most used character in pop culture and like uh, TCGs. And another version of Anubismon. And another version of Anubismon. And then we have something very special. I was so happy to get this. This is from the Caster Chronicles TCG. And I did open Japanese uh, Japanese booster packs from this TCG current uh, recently. But there are also English version of this TCG. And I really didn't heard a lot about it. But yeah, they put like in this artwork, they put so much stuff together, like a little bit too much. Here's like uh, an eye on her head. It's not really looking like the eye of Horus, but yeah, then she has like these ears. There's like this uh, Anubis figure on the staff. And then she has like the scale in the hand, which she shouldn't have. Or maybe, yeah, it's like they put so much, so much stuff together. But yeah, very funny. Tut Ank Amun. Yes, in foil and non foil, and Tutank Amun became a, a waifu. Uh, one of the, yeah, well, I think this is like the most known or well known pharaoh because of the, the grave and all the stuff they still found in the tomb. But yeah, when I, when I got this card, I, I, w I was a little bit like uh, entertained by the thought that. In ancient Egypt, they believed that as long as they know your name, you don't die. Like, they put their name everywhere, on the walls and on the stuff, and these cartouches. So, yeah, as long as people remember your name, you don't die. And I was thinking in my head, like, if someone would told, like, to drunk Amun, like, oh, in, how long is it ago? Like, 3,000 years. In 3,000 years... Uh, people will still remember you to Dank Amun, which is good news, right? But yeah, they will put your name on anime waifu cards. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that's so good. But at least people still remember you and you are not dead. Yeah, the Lang symbol and double cobra on the, on the head. Very cool. From the Force of Will TCG. Then we have Maat and two version, I think. Oh yeah, this was super ugly. I didn't know that. Um, a foiling like this existed. Yeah, this looks so bad. I hate it. But I also got this uh, secret rare in Japanese. But Maat is not only like a, a deity or a god. It's also like a, a principle, as you can say. It's like... The job of the Fao was basically to to do Ma'at, to like uh, to be responsible that everything is like in justice and in uh, in order. So yeah, it's not only like a person; it's like a person or deity Ma'at, and also a underlying principle of world order. I would say, yeah. So yeah, very very cool. It also has the the scale. In hand so yeah maybe if i i talked about it in the previous uh, update video also that the the feather of my art like your your heart got weighted against the feather of my art and if you you did bad things in life your heart was yeah heavier and then your heart gets eaten by amit and that's bad news for you so we get uh Another force of will, it's in German. And yeah, it's also like from Ma'at. And I think in uh, force of will, Ma'at is like a, a region or a city. But also like highly, highly inspired by ancient Egypt. 
uh, similar to, to this relic. We have a obelisk, hieroglyphs, a pyramid, like on the wrong side. We have the Ang symbol, the, the Shen, oh, and I always forget it. it's the Shen symbol, I guess. Uh, Shen ring. Yeah, it's the Shen ring. And yeah, these rings and like horrors probably. Very, very cool artwork. Very from my art. Again, a lot of these uh, jewelry and design elements and the uh, pyramid in the background. Busted. Yeah, there are some, there are more than, okay, where are the other ones there? There are multiple busted cards. It's the car, uh, the cat goddess. Sometimes busted, like, uh, had like a lioness head also, similar to Sehmet. But yeah, some, here it's like the cat goddess as usually, and it, in this version, this is a, a super rare version with texture on it. Looks very cool. Busted old goddess. Another force of will cat. And cat card. Yeah, we have again Maat. And again, she is depicted with a scale. Oh, and yeah, in this artwork, she is even holding the hand, uh, the heart in her hand. She has to wait. Very, very cool. And there are also uh, a pyramid in the background. I think this one also has texture, yes. Also has texture. Isis, sister, wife of Osiris. Beautiful artwork uh, from Force of Will. Double-sided even. Isis, the 100 weapon master. I do like this artwork a lot. Cleopatra. The, the seventh, probably. Uh, the last, last pharaoh of, of Egypt. Beautiful depicted with a cobra. So yeah, there was this myth that she, she let herself bit in the, in the breast by a cobra to, to die. Sounds like a nice job for a cobra. I never wanted to be a cobra so much. But yeah, let's end this with another Isis from Force of Will. A very nice character design. Love the details. And yeah, I, I hope this was entertaining. Uh, let me know in the, uh, if you want to see more update videos of my Ancient Egypt collection. And maybe you have like some, some cards in mind I, I never heard of. There are probably a lot of a lot of ancient Egyptian TCG artworks I, I don't know of. And yeah, if you want to help me out, please comment or let me know on Instagram. And yeah, thank you for watching. Let's, oh, maybe we should end. This would be super funny. Like, let's end with an unboxing of a Force of Will pack. It would be amazing if we could pull the, the secret rare of Anubis in, in an update video like this. It would be super funny. I would celebrate that. Now let's see what we can get. Oh, this one. I totally forgot this. Ah, no Anubis, but uh, I think this wasn't in this part. Yeah, I, I put this in another pile of cards, but yeah, this is another card for my Egypt collection since, uh, yeah, it's a desert fox, but you can see barely. There's like a ring of hieroglyphs. It's like, yeah, actual ancient Egyptian. I cannot zoom in anymore, maybe. Now you should see it. There are hieroglyphs. So yeah, this will be uh, included in my binder too. I already did pull it. I just have it in some box stored. But yeah, thank you for watching. See you in my next uh, unboxing or update video. Bye.